Welcome to Draw With Yarn. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a bird. You may need to pause the video if I'm going too fast. You're going to need a pen or a pencil and some colouring crayons. You may also need a sharpener if your pencils get blunt. Okay, so we're going to start with a nice smooth triangle. Then we're going to make another symmetrical to it. Then we're going to go round and finish off in line with the beak. Then we're going to come down and curve around. Then just do some small tassels and come back around. That now we're going to do, draw the feet. Just one line, two line, three line and four line. And same on the other side. Now we're going to draw the wing. A nice semicircle and then we're going to draw two inside it getting thinner each time then we're going to draw the eye okay now that we've done our bird we're going to start on the background okay we'll have our point of our branch here our branch is going to come along there and end here. Now we're going to do a curved point and do the exact same thing, getting wider each time. You may want to add a few sticks. Okay, now if you had any branches, you could do some leaves. So first, do you like you're doing a loop and then do a nice thin line underneath then just some lines okay now we're going to just add some shapes like this each curve has a point at the end we want one two, three curves. Now for the background, we want several of these big strokes around to just give that tree sort of texture. You may want to add a few more if it looks a bit too empty. Now, we're going to start with the bird in the colouring. So you can put your pen or pencil away. We're going to start with a nice light sort of blue. and just colour the whole bird in this blue. You may need to turn the page if you can't colour like you need to. Okay, now you want to add some darker blue onto it.
Okay, now we've got our base colour, we're going to add some shading to make it darker at the tail and lighter at the top. So, you will need a darker pencil for this. We're just going to get light just at the same point as the neck. Then we want to get darker and darker. and you just want it to fade into the head. Then, you want a slightly more purple colour. Starting nice and dark. Then, So dark at the tail, then you want to get lighter and lighter. And there you've got a simple but effective fade. Now we're going to move on to the beak. You need a nice orangey yellow and just colour the beak. Now for the wings. You're going to need a nice sort of metallic colour, blue, and just do one, two, leave the middle one empty. Now we've done that, fill that empty one with a very light blue. And then you've got a nice wing. Okay, now, we're going to need to do the trunk. So, first, you need to get a nice, sort of light brown color. You might want to slant it for this bit and just go over it. Nice and dark for the whole thing. When you're colouring, you might want to leave a small gap there. Once you finish that, get a darker brown. And just do the top. Then 
as we did, just fade out. And there you have it, there's your trunk. Now, we want to add our leaf. So, we're going to get a green, just colour it in half by half. You're going to need several greens for this bit. We're going to be doing the tree now. Start with your first green. And you want to do, just like we did with our pen or pencil, you want to do the same thing all over the place. Just like that. but much, much more than you did on the blacks. Now, you want to move on to your next screen. Same amount, different places. At the moment, it's looking a bit like a scribble, but it's going to get better. Now, you want to add another green, a bit darker this time. At all angles you can do these curves. So there's no making mistakes here. Now you want to move on to your final green. Okay, and there should be a few gaps left. Now with these gaps, you're going to want to just fill it in with a blue sort of like this. Nice and lightly. Then it looks like there's light coming out from behind the tree. Just like that. And now, now that you've done that patch, you can do it with the rest. I did one earlier, and this is how it should look by the end. Don't forget to sign your name. Hope you enjoyed drawing with me.